Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, we're going to be talking about some Flat Earth stuff. It's not really about the Flat Earth, but it has to do with videos that are on that. So, before I get to that, before all the people who don't want to hear that stuff tune out, um, I want to show you this pic that I found. This is something that I was looking at myself, especially with silver being super low as it is right now. And I told you before that I actually think that these monkeys are going to be an amazing deal simply because I don't think they're very popular. And uh, But right now on Gainesville, I was going to take all these, but I'm not in a position right now to be buying them. You can see uh, we do an add to cart. There's 356. Now you have to remember with Gainesville, they've added this strange thing here where it's 101. So... I was going to order 200 of them and just get two full boxes. Normally, if you order 100, they'll send you the box. And it's kind of neat because you get the cardboard box and it has the five rolls of 20 and it's in the form-fitting thing and it's it's sealed with the um, seal and stuff like that. It has, you know, the sticker on the box originally from the Perth Mint. So, But to actually get that here, you're either going to have to order 101 to get that $11.17 price, which is just an absolute steal in my opinion. That comes to $22.34. Uh, and again, that's significantly above spot, but that is not significantly above what um, these coins go for. The We know the goats now, the half ounce goats we picked up around $11, they are they are going for a lot more. Uh, the, 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 the dragons are the next ones that are fairly cheap. The horses are actually really expensive right now. I I think that coin's going to go crazy just because it's um, such a beautiful design. But this might be a sleeper. And just to give this to the members, um, you probably want to snap these up if, if, if they're available, at least a few of them, because I, I think this is going to be a big winner. So let's get over to the main story. Now this is, uh, this goes way deep down the rabbit hole. Um, and I'm going to start off with the, the video that started this, and then I'm going to explain ghost banning and how that works, and I'm going to sp explain to you how there's something beyond ghost banning going on here, and you'll see that. But let's take a look at the video. This is a video that Jennifer sent me, and this is Eric Dubay, who did a comedy video, and that's, it's actually really good. I don't believe men should dress up in drag, but he did a good uh he did a good imitation of uh, uh, the Flat Earth and Hot Potatoes channel and uh, the gal who does that. But uh, that's not what this is about. What this is about is uh, ghost banning. And we're going to get into that. First, I'm going to show you. This is this is Eric DeBay doing Jaronism, which I think is a really good imitation here. Let's play a little bit of this. Hey, everyone. It's Jaron from Jaronism here. Just reminding you to empty out your brain. There's truth inside. And uh, wanting to remind you uh, to treat me better than you treat yourself. I mean, treat others better than you treat yourself. I heard that from Mark Sargent, and I really like it. Uh, because uh, it puts people in the mindset to literally treat me better than they treat themselves. So when I put a GoFundMe campaign up and I put my mortgage and you know everything else that I need to pay for this life on there, um, people will treat me better than they treat themselves. Okay, so that's his, his Jaronism. Pretty funny, if you, if you followed this issue, uh, What's going on here is that uh, Eric DeBay is claiming that this whole space has been invaded by shills. He does it on Mark Sargent, uh, the uh, per Patricia Steer channel, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. She has people in masks and makes a very good point, uh, pointing out that, you know, trying to make this thing look ridiculous. He does Mark Sargent very well and all the people in this space. Now... I think Eric is the best guy out there. The problem is, is that Eric DeBay is a rabid anti-Semite. He is not only a Holocaust denier, 
there's actually some Jew mockery and hatred in here. So he hates Jews. And so I've covered this before. You've got a number of people coming out with this topic, and there's something wrong with every single one of them. Uh, I've covered it before. Mark Sargent believes aliens build everything. Eric DeBay is a rabid anti-Semite, although he presents all the really good evidence. Um, who knows about Pat Patricia Steer? Eric DeBay is probably right. She's just there to uh, make the thing look ridiculous. And then Jaronism, he's an ex-Catholic who hates God, but is now an atheist, but then tries to... I, it's so confusing. You can't even keep track of it. But uh, I decided to make a comment on this video because I know that Eric is, he hates Jews and I think he's just totally deceived. He's a Hindu. That's not surprising. But uh, what's very interesting about this is the comment that I made. Now, I want you to notice when you look at this comment, in the upper right hand corner, you can see there's my AG uh, icon, my seven Google alerts here. And this is the comment that I made. I'm just going to read it to you. And it says, one hour ago now. Wow, hilarious. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. When you did Jaronism, I almost busted a gut. And Mark's butt, if if you watch the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Mark Sargent always going, but, and then he paused a long time. Or Patricia Steer, what, she, what, what he did a million times was, I know this is a YouTube video, but if you just tuned in, welcome to Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, because all she ever does is mention her channel name and then, and then just talk about stupid stuff, not about any evidence. So it's, it's pretty funny. But then this was my comment to Eric. Eric, Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is a Jew. To quote Keith Green, you know you're going to find out that he's the way, no matter which way you choose, but I pray that you find out by his love for you. So, you know, I, I like Eric DeBay. I, I feel sorry for him that he's caught up into anti-Semitism and hating the people that, uh, that God chose to become a man in their line, in their lineage. So now let's get into the, the meat of this, what's so interesting about this. So you'll see that I'm logged in here. Now you can also see that the comment above me is Warhola Films and you can see the comment below me is Checks and Balance 89. So before we investigate this further, I'm gonna have you watch this video. Sorry, I'm gonna have you watch this video about ghost banning. And this is gonna explain it to you and then I'm gonna show you how my comment actually goes above and beyond ghost banning. So let's look at the ghost banning video here real quick. So part of the way the new Google Plus comment system deals with spam is by hiding comments by users that its algorithm thinks is spam. Um, now you might have noticed that the comment that the system thinks is spam is visible to the user that wrote the comment but it is invisible to everyone else uh, and the idea behind that is that spammers won't be aware that their comments are invisible to every other user um, so they can keep spamming but they will have no idea that users can't see their comments Google Plus uses a technique known as ghost banning it appears that the system doesn't just examine comments on an individual basis if you are flagged as a spammer it seems none of your comments will be showing to anyone but yourself in a way that's kind of useful for dealing with real spammers but the problem with ghost banning on YouTube is that it seems to be getting applied to people who aren't spammers. So I want you to notice here and I'm going to show you an example on my comment but you can see here what he's done is on the left hand side you have the comments when he's logged in and the comments that he can see and then on the right hand side he's showing you what it appears as he's logged out and you can see right where he put comment should be here, that's a ghost ban comment. So even if you're leaving a totally innocent comment on a channel you've never commented on them before, i.e. one that you're not blocked from, the system may think you're a spam army blocking all of your comments. So that means it's possible that you could be typing away making dozens of long interesting comments but no one can see them. So if you've been wondering why your comments are being ignored then you may well have been ghost banned. What you should do is check your comments when you're both logged in and logged out to make sure they are visible to everyone. 
in my opinion, this technique of ghost banning is just absolutely horrible. It really seems to me anti-conversation and anti-community. You know, without any way of knowing you've been banned, you won't know the real reason why your comments aren't getting a response. And, you know, if you want to be part of a community but no one responds to your comments, then you're a lot more likely to feel unwelcome and maybe stop commenting or even leave that community. I've added some links in the description to some more information on ghost banning and I've also added some links to some discussions from unhappy YouTubers about ghost banning on YouTube. Uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Please leave a comment below. Okay, so now there's the video. Now, the first question I had was, was I ghost banned? Now, fortunately, in this video, they actually link another video that is a, a test video for ghost band check and what i did was i actually have a whole bunch of screenshots i don't need those screenshots now to prove my case because i have the the browsers up right now one that i'm logged into and one that i'm not logged into i just have my youtube logged in to my channel and i have uh i'm sorry i have firefox logged into my youtube channel and i have the same exact video loaded into uh, google chrome which is not logged in but let's take you over to this video here. This is the video that allows you to test if you've been ghosted. So you can see at the top of this video, it, first you want to look up here. Notice in the upper right-hand corner, there's that sign-in button. So I am not signed in in this Google Chrome browser. I am just looking at the comments that are available for the entire public to see. And you can see, here's the comment. If you think your comments are visible to yourself only, ghosted, you may post a comment on this video as a test. Please allow several minutes for your post to run through YouTube's spam filter before claiming your post isn't visible. Now here's the post. It's right here. This is what I put. Eric DeBay's Flat Earth video, Other Shill Potatoes, my comment was ghosted. And here's the comment. So you can see that's the exact comment that I made. I posted it in this test ghost band video and it posted. So I'm not ghost banned, but nevertheless, I am banned. So you can see here, let me close the uh, silver one. Um, you can see here, here's my comment on the ghost band video. Here's my comment where I'm logged in to Firefox. And here is the comments. You can see that they are listed as newest first. And you can go down here and you can see Mr. Thrive and Survive. Now, I don't know if any of you follow him, but he's a flat earth guy. He's a Christian. Um, none of these people are perfect, but it's very clear here. He was allowed to post, but you can see right here. One hour ago, Checks and Balances 89 and Warhola Films. There, My comment should have been between those two. You can see Warhola Films and Checks and Balances. This comment that I made was censored. Now... I don't believe it was censored by Eric DeBay. I've never commented on Eric DeBay's channel, as far as I know. Maybe I have and Eric banned me. I don't think this is the result that you get if that's the case. It may be the case. I'm wrong. But uh, if I'm not wrong, then what that means is that this statement that I made, Jesus loves you, Jesus is God, Jesus is a Jew, that comment is not allowed to be posted on YouTube. That's the only conclusion that you can come to when you see the fact that it was allowed on the ghost band test video and it was not allowed on Eric DeBay's channel. And I, I want to point out that the comments were coming in very fast and furious on this. You can see there's 608 comments. I think when I made the comment, there was like 400 something. So this is really interesting stuff here that's going on. We're talking about uh, not only ghost bands, but something even beyond ghost bands. Uh, it's very clear that 
whoever the powers are that are behind this thing, they don't want open discussion. Um, they've put out their people and the point that I'm trying to make is that Christians are the ones who have, at least Christians who are strict King James only Christians and ones who take the Bible absolutely literally every jot until, as I do, as Jennifer does, uh, who were, and let me point this out, I had been exposing NASA for many, many years. And I've had my NASA expose channel for for a year and a half now. So I've been doing this sort of work for quite a while. It was only after seeing the evidence that Eric DeBay presented, uh, minus his anti-Semitism, that I realized that, yes, there is a legitimate scientific issue going on here. But what is so fascinating is that at the very time when all of these... Uh, truths, we'll say, are coming out, or at least evidences are coming out, you have a whole bunch of people coming out uh, who are shills. Eric DeBay pretty much in this video proves to you that these people are shills. Uh, but what is Eric DeBay? Is he a shill? Uh, who's banning my comment? Is Eric DeBay doing it? I, I don't think so. And if it's not Eric DeBay, is it ghost comments? No, I showed you I'm not ghost blocked because my test comment to the test ghost block didn't get blocked. But somehow my comment, the statement that Jesus loves you, Jesus is God, and Jesus is a Jew, <laughs> that statement, that's not allowed. So... Maybe you guys can do some more research and figure out why that is. I'm absolutely stumped. Uh, the only thing that I can offer you is that uh, it is indeed true that uh, there is a power and that power controls everything. It's pretty clear now who is the enemy of that power and we'll talk to you next time.